Good morning! I am headed to no other than Hollywood Studios today. Um, take a look at my outfit. This is my outfit and my shoes. Um, my mom from American Eagle. This is literally like my Star Wars bound. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I cannot wait to wear this to the parks. I got a boarding group. I got boarding group 25. It said it's boarding in approximately um, I think two and a half hours or something like that. So we got lots of time. I calculated at the time it's boarding approximately at 11 a.m., which is perfect. Um, it's going to be a really good, good day. It's currently 7.30 in the morning, and we are about to head out to go to the Skyliner. The camera lens is super foggy again. I'm sorry. I realized I walked out without a mask, so I had to stop and grab one of the extra ones out of my bag. That's why you always bring extra ones with you. Um, that and if it breaks or something, I have like two or three extra ones with me, I think. So all good. It's currently 7.37 and I'm just walking to the Skyliner. I don't know a lot about what time it opens or what time it starts running. I know there used to be a long lineup, but I've heard people say the last week there hasn't been any lineup, so I'm kind of hoping for that. I'm not too dire for rope drop today. Um, I'm going for a run my railway first thing in the morning, and if something happens and I can't get there in time, that's okay. Um, I know the wait times get lower later in the day, so it's not a big deal. So this is the line at 7.40. Not too bad, they haven't started putting people in yet. We just got to the park, it's currently five to eight. I'm assuming they're already letting people in, um, but we'll go see what's up. I lied, it's five to eight. There's another hour before the park opens. I thought it opened at eight. Um, <laughs> it opens at nine, so we're here really early again. That's okay, we're definitely gonna get in nice and on time. <laughs> One of, if not my absolute favorite ride in all of Disney World. I absolutely adore it. That's my second time riding it. I rode it once on opening day and it's so, so amazing. So now I'm gonna be headed over to Tower of Terror because there still should not be any wait there. Definitely a couple people, nothing too crazy. Studios is not necessarily my favorite park. A lot of the rides here are my favorite. I forgot how much I love Tower of Terror too. I was a little nervous going into it there, but um, turned out really good. Absolutely love it. We'll be going on it again later. I just don't think I can do it twice in a row. Story Mania currently has a zero minute wait. It says right on the uh, My Disney Experience. So we're gonna try that out. And then probably Alien Swirling Saucer. And um, yeah. There's actually a nice breeze going on until they got in here. Now it's just sun and hot in Toy Story Lands. I feel like the world has just kind of forgotten about the new restaurant going in here. I don't know much about it, but there's supposed to be like a barbecue kind of deal. Um, so I'm gonna get a DAS return time for Slinky Dog. I knew from the start this was gonna be a line I was probably gonna struggle quite a bit with. Um, so I decided early this morning that I wasn't even gonna try for it. Um, just because with the big crowds rushing here and everything, that would be a lot for me. So um, we're gonna try to get a DAS pass. We got now about an hour till rise, so let's go do some alien swirling saucer. They actually sent us down the fast pass line. Um, I'm not sure why. There's literally no one here though, like at all. I'm gonna go fix myself up because I'm super sweaty. We're gonna go to Galaxy's Edge, take some photos, and it should be about 45 minutes ish till our boarding group is ready. So, hopefully, by then it will be ready to go. I have not been here since I first saw the Star Wars movies, and I am so excited. Stop. Find something interesting? I find that interesting. Be careful. Traveler. Who's Ray and Chewy? Okay, so I don't know. Oh, there's like sweat dropping on my face. I can't find my rise boarding time because my My Disney Experience app, like it signed me out and it won't let me sign back in. Um, it just keeps saying we sent a code to your email, what's the number, and nothing's being sent to my email. So I have to find like guest experience or something. I really don't want to have to walk all the way back to the front of the park, that would suck. Um, but I have to find someone to be like, hey, 
why won't it let me in and what do I do? Because I know my boarding pass is like, it might be up already, I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm standing in the guest experience line, and then as I was standing there, it literally started working, so that's great. But the guest experience didn't light them up the pigeons, so but let's just go here because there's still about a half hour left before I can go on rise. And my rise group is now boarding, um, so I'm gonna head on over. I haven't even in yet, and I've already been waiting in line a couple minutes. Hoping it's not too long in there. Baby! Absolutely amazing, like 12 out of 10, absolutely amazing. I love it so much. I've been so impressed, like everything in studios is so good. Like yes, studios is like a smaller park and the wait time's usually really long, but everything is just so good. Gonna go get some food. I'm gonna head over to Pizza Rizzo, one of my absolute favorites. So gonna eat some lunch there. Um, it's, I can't really see my watch, but I think it's like 11.30, almost 12 o'clock now maybe. Okay, so I got a kid's cheese pizza with apple slices, carrots, and a Coke. Um, and then I got the frozen peach bellini, which is one of my favorites, and just a cup of water. Lots to drink, but need to hydrate right now, and Pop's not hydrating, so need the water. The um, wedding room, party room, whatever you want to call it, it's a little busy, so I just came over here to eat. I'm just in the back corner, so on the second floor. Nice air conditioning, not busy, um, super chill, and ready to eat some food. Oh my gosh, so, okay, so... <laughs> I didn't take my allergy pill this morning because it's been fine, I haven't been needing it. But um, there's something twice now, so when I came out of Muppet Vision, my like, eyes started watering and my allergies started acting up and it was really bad, but then it went away. And now, just as I was coming out of Pizza Rizzo there, it happened again, so there's something over there that is very <laughs> triggering to my allergies. But that's okay, um, we're headed out of the park now. Uh, I'm nice and fall, it's really hot out, it's noon. I'm um, getting to the hottest part of the day, which is when I like to go back to the hotel and cool down because we're at Pop Century on the Skyliner. It's a quick, easy um, adventure over, and then we're coming back to Hollywood Studios later tonight. Also, I thought these shoes were going to absolutely destroy me today. They're really comfortable. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting to be like blisters and terrible, and no, these are the only shoes I've worn so far that haven't given me some sort of blister and are actually like super, super comfortable, so I'm okay with that. So this is Gertie the dinosaur. If you do not know, Gertie is not part of Disney. I believe she's in the Creative Commons now, um, but she's really big in animation history. So she was created by animator Windsor McKay or Mackay, however you want to pronounce it. And she was in one of the first animated things ever. And it was part of a magic show um, and she interacted with the magician. And it was a super simple, super basic animation. You can look it up on YouTube if you want, um, but Gertie's really cute and she's like, a very big part of what makes Disney Disney today, um, just animation history in general. Much, much, much later. Okay, and we're back off. It's around 4.30 now and we are headed back out. Yes, I did take a longer break today. Um, the temperature ended up getting up to 36 degrees and the heat index ended up being up to 47, I believe my app said. So it was just too hot, like it just was not gonna happen. So I'm just gonna fill up my little water bottle um, and then we're gonna head back to the Skyliner and back to studios. Skyliner guesses, I'm gonna guess we get the Winnie the Pooh one this time. And it looks like we're gonna get this no-name one here. I definitely feel like the logo on the building is new. Oh, we gotta walk all the way around to enter. There's Benny and Nikki. So I do still have my DAS return time from earlier, so we're gonna use that to go on Slinky, even though the wait only is about 35 minutes right now. Okay, here's to hoping one man dream's still open. Actually, the next day I did not end up at the vlog last night basically what ended up happening is I went on star tours 
and I think just a combination of like the 3D and the movement and the heat, um, I started feeling really not good. So I went to Backlot Express, I got a couple cups of water, and I sat there for well over an hour and a half, and it was just not getting better. I was not feeling better, not going good. So I just came back to my hotel. I literally went straight to bed. Um, I fell asleep with the TV on at like nine o'clock. Um, and then I just let myself sleep in this morning until I felt good again. So <laughs> I do feel a lot better now the next day, um, but last night was not a good night. So you guys really did see the end of that portion of the night, um, the good stuff that happened. But after that, I I was not feeling good at all. I am excited I do have another Hollywood Studios day where I will not be riding Star Tours, so hopefully all shall go well and I will be able to ride the rides I did not get on on that day. Um, but thank you so much for watching this vlog. Make sure you check out tomorrow's and have a magical rest of your day.